Fiddler Gub D, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. We're following one of our peppercorns. Yes, it's a London North Eastern Railways, and it's currently heading along the southwest, but hey -ho, it does go east eventually. <laughs> There's one of the blue ones looking pretty cool. Uh, the green ones look really nice as well. Uh, they're steaming along 68. Uh, they get up to a decent rack of speed as long as they have clear line of sight in front of them. This one's lucky because it just dodged this monstrosity. But yep. Uh, so I have upgraded one or two trains. Uh, what we shall do is we shall go all the way down here. Now, this little barn staple train, I left with the carriages. But I changed it up to a British Rail liveried uh, 062T, 062T, yes, so it's running, it's fine. Uh, I changed this one up as well, I gave it BR coaches, uh, the southern BR coaches, changed it to green, this is currently an H2, uh, the H2 class that we wanted to get running, which does actually go pretty obsolete in the 1960s, but it's nice to have one running there are two more of those running somewhere else so if we continue on we go to Barnstaple I was looking for a place to run this uh, this sort of weird kind of looks like a mallard but apparently it's a hush hush rebuilt who knows but yeah there are two of them now running on this line which is the Queen Empress line uh, we'll have to really change that so they're both running they're both in the blue so they're looking pretty sweet as well. Uh, down here at Exeter, we've got the two trains that run to Weymouth. Uh, kept the same ones, kept the Grizzly coaches, because there's not many passengers, and it's got a decent length consist. We've got one in black, which is apparently at Weymouth, and it's filling up, and we've got one in green that has just left Exeter. So that's running as well. Pretty cool, I do like the L-Class. It's pretty smart. I probably should. Actually, let's check up your details. I think it does. Yeah, it does 81. So we really should upgrade this. Uh, give me that. Tannery, no. Let's just get this upgraded. Hopefully, it won't do anything untoward to the train. So, I've not upgraded every single train, we'll do a bit more, ah, looks like I already had the plan, I just sort of gave up beforehand, okay, that was dumb. Right, all these we've looked at, uh, the SR main line, that's running the sort of mix, the L2s, the L class and the N15X, we've seen all that, we've seen the ones that continue on to Penzance and whatnot. Down here at Barnstaple, the Queen Empress and the Bristol Super has been changed up with a BR Class 8B. Now this does something like 60 or 75 miles per hour. It's a pretty decent train, mixed uh, mixed traffic train. Uh, there are, so this is the 8B. Let's go to manage vehicle. Now there's a couple of these on here. They're running fine. One, yeah. They've both got the plum and spilt milk uh, carriages, which are really nice. Let's see if I can find these. Uh, where are you? Where art thou? So the 8B, the 75, and the B5, the 60. Uh, there is a fowler. Does the fowler come in BR black? It does. So we've got a couple of them to change up at some point. Uh, right. So that was done as well. Uh, everything along this way we did in the last episode. There we go. There's a couple of beast trains rolling out there. 71 of 105. 90, but there's a lot of people there, so that's probably going to be fine. Uh, down this way, did I change anything up here? No. There's a peppercorn. I think I did... No, see, that is still running a SDGR. Fowler in blue, although it's not blue anymore, it's rather horribly dirty. There is only one, I think we'll just change it up now, so 
we'll do this since we're here. We'll get to be our block. We shall keep the Grizzly coaches. They're looking a bit rough. But hey ho, that's that Gloucester train now done. The trains that are on wheels that are running the Great Western, I think I'm going to leave them. So, like this. I quite like this. Uh, there's not a BR version of this, or at least I have not checked. I know there is a BR version of the, yeah, the 4300. But I don't think there is one for, yeah, see, the other previous 4300 has disappeared, and we're just left with these two. Yeah, they're just in... Well, they've got BR. Yeah, so it has been changed up. Okay. So what is this then? It's a something or other. Looks like the small one. A prairies. In reversed. Let's do that. Let's add that. Modify. Yeah, yeah, it's got the BR livery. That's pretty cool. I'll keep these coaches though, because I quite like them. They're quite nice. Uh, this one here, the green one, I would like to keep some green Great Westerns on the go, unless that, like the black, has two liveries. I think it's only got the one. Uh, I think I've just gone past it. Oh no, it's further down. Yeah, it's only got the one. Just the black. So I'm going to keep these as green. But I will change up some stuff. So everything out of Gloucester is now done. Uh, let's push play. So they're all gone. London Western is running those. The Peppercorns. Queen Empress is now running the Hush Hush. We've still got a Fowler class running up there. And we're all good. Now, heading swiftly on. All this is done. I did change up these. Uh... Gave them slightly more capacity, and I put the... I didn't put, like, the box cars or any. I just made sure that it was British. It's got Southern Rail cargo wagons there. They are running the O2. Yeah, the GNR. It's a great Northern Railways, but it's got no markings, so... I guess it could pass for anywhere, really. 168 of 168. Looking good. I've not upgraded this section of track. I don't particularly need to. Uh, the Chippenham at Gloucester, we've got this, so it's just a black 5, uh, with maroon, what Jim calls it, maroon, yes, maroon something, sort of there. It's heading for Chippenham with 9 people, it's, a, it's not really a money maker this one, unless there's a lot of people waiting in Chippenham, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 20 people. Hmm, I could set it to wait for a full load at Chippingham. So Chippingham siding, wait, wait for a minute. That'll be fine. I'll free up some space on the tracks as well. There's another one of our glorious blue peppercorns. And heading swiftly on. Right, if we go to Oxford first. Uh, so at Oxford we've got, well there's nothing there at the moment, yeah there's one rolling in. So I think this is the, yeah this is the B5 in BR livery and it does 60 miles per hour as well, there it is. So again just got Southern Railways stuff on there, still running the brake wagon on there, that's totally fine. This should be set Man's line to wait for a full load. It is. There is currently 133 waiting, so it's not going to have to wait that long. But it's good because trains are getting faster. That they are, which is nice. Uh, you're heading down, which is nice. Now, from Oxford, though, there's something else we need to look at. So, the Gloucester Oxford train, I made one of these a diesel. And there it is running at 55 miles per hour. It's going downhill. It does reach about 70 before it has to slow down. Uh, before it gets to this junction. So that's, uh, I'm quite happy with the choice we made there. And is that basically it? 
I think, maybe, perhaps. What's this? Ah, no. Last but not least, this line. So, the London Outer. So, I just put H2, H2s on there as well. Uh, so, they're good to go. There we go. There's a peppercorn in the background. There's one in black. It is currently loading up. So, we'll say Oxford. Wait for a full load. And Reading. No, Luton. No, I'm not going to have it wait for a full load down at Luton because I think another train needs to pass it. Right, you are stopped. Why? Oh, horrible British train there with German wagons. Right, you're coming in, you're going to deliver, and then you're going to bail. You've got 416. Yeah, so this part here is a bit congested, but it does get better. That one's moving. This one will move. That one's on the way. Uh, where's the other H2 class? Yeah, it's just green. I think it is. Yes, very nice. There it goes. Right, so that's all I upgraded thus far. Now, I am going to head back to London. But first, we're going to head over to Wales. And we're going to get those great Western Railways. Uh, trains upgraded. We're going to leave the green ones on because I quite like them but we're sort of getting ahead left and then we're going to fix everything that is sort of here. Now these 160 now really what we want is 160 capacity but slightly less than 261 meters. So details no Manage vehicles, yes. Select them all. We're going to replace them. We are still going to run the Great Western uh, Heavy Prairies class. Whatever it may be. This one. NBR. Yes, please. One, two. Uh, cargo. Now, I don't mind using this state car because... Well, because... 161 meters. It's 168 now that can't be correct. Is it 261 meters? 248258. Now if I add the boxcar. Uh, there is actually a Great Western Railways. Uh, there is actually a British Rail one. This I know of. There is two variants. We've got one in bauxite and one in grey. I think we'll have these ones in bauxite. Right, length of train is now 266. So that's 156. It's actually less capacity, right? Yeah, 160. Ooh, that's weird. We may actually have to run this without that and then go to cargo and add another one of these 258 so why does add in so 258 plus a box uh, a brake a brake van plus a Break van weight lifespan emission so like add that two five eight six seven eight eight meters long no way no way is a brake van eight meters long no chance right what if I remove one of these still mediocre it's now two five four So what would the weight of this train be? 547 tons. Right. Do I just leave it as is? I think I will actually leave it as is. Yeah, we've got a great western. So what I'll do is... Do that. Manage the vehicles. We'll select them all. 
Now, yeah, in fact, just replace them all. So, go to this. Uh, manage vehicles, replace them all with steam. Head back up. Yes, please. Where am I going? I don't actually know. If I can pass them, no, they're further up. There we go. Large prairies and BR, yes. One, two. Or wait. A 262T5100. Five one oh one four five seven five. Yeah, I think it is this one. I'm gonna keep it with that one anyway. Cargo, alright, let's give it capacity of one sixty. Uh, it's currently two hundred and fifty three meters plus our bauxite. It's in all. Keep forgetting to go in all to find it. Right, plus a box site, British Rail Van, 261 modify. Right, so continue on there, my friend. These ones we're going to upgrade as well. I think I'll change them up to Great Western Railways as well. And for some reason, these look huge now. I think it was definitely the smaller one that we were running before. Uh, who the hell knows? But yes, you are Gloucester Iron Ore, so are you. Let's manage these vehicles. Uh, we'll select them. We'll replace them. There's three of them. That's okay. Steam. Now, they don't actually have very far to go, and I was going to change them up. To diesels. I'm gonna add, let's add two of these. One, two. Okay, cargo. Keep it as Great Western or change it to something else. I mean, we have these seven. Current length of train is 199 meters. Two hundred and four meters, one hundred and eighty-six. Remove another one. Capacity is one hundred and forty-seven. One hundred and sixty-two. Can I actually afford to make this larger? I don't think I can. Maybe add them. Wait, the seven plank wagon. Ah, oh. seven plank wagon to the rescue, boys. All right, on that. <laughs> now, distance length was 199 meters. 184. Take one out. Go to all. Now, for this one, we'll get the bauxite. Not the bauxite. The grey. And that. Replace them. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Alright, that's nice. Now this is carrying 200. I'm happy to leave it as 200. And I'm happy to leave them as green. There's a lot of green growing on, uh, going on here. Now what we'll do is we'll select these, manage vehicles, uh, delete that, that and that and what we shall do is get steam and then we'll add this, one, two and three, modify. Right so there they should now be in black, we'll still keep them as great westerns. Uh, we won't change up the box car, we'll just leave it. There we go, it's now in BR livery. Uh, this is in BR livery. It's now going to be able to go faster. 
Is it going faster? 39, probably. The other one was pretty, uh, pretty poor show. 317 weight in there. Now there should be a train up here. There is. What are you currently running? Now this is running like the London Northwestern Railways. I might, oh no, it's only got a top speed of 40. 40 is pretty low. Uh, manage this vehicle then. In fact, manage them both. Replace them with a black five, maybe. Maybe one of these. 50 is a bit slow. Maybe a B5. Now the problem is, if I replace it with something too big. So maybe remove that. And remove that. Yeah, if I add something that's too large, it won't fit into the station. Add that. Add that. Now, I think these both went to the back. Oh, that sucks. Right, if I remove one of them, one should go to the front. Okay. If I remove both of them, one should go to the front, and one should go to the back. Right, 50 miles per hour. Uh, we'll have to do this one. We'll have to remember to remove the one at the back. Add one of those and add one of those. Modify. And off they pop. Right, that's pretty awesome, actually. Quite happy with that. 162, we'll keep it as is. Because uh, we're still getting a lot of iron ore from there. And we're about to get even more. So that's totally fine. Yep, see, this is absolutely demolished most of the stuff here, and it's still got like another 100 to load. So I could probably cut that down to just two, maybe. Yeah, Gloucester ore. Okay, let's cut you down to two. That one can now go. This dude is rolling in. Perfect. Right, so. Great Western's looking pretty decent. Uh, this one's still in Great Western livery. I don't mind though. Uh, this one here is running an LMS. What? Ah, this is a Dreadnought. That it is. Yep, Dreadnought. So, we could keep that in LMS. I think we'll have to change it though, and we'll maybe cut down its consist. So manage vehicle, it's time to say goodbye to the dreadnought. Uh, maybe even give it maybe even give it one of these. Add passengers. Now, this is nice, but we've actually got it in here with the brake wagon, so let's go. Alright, we'll keep it in maroon. One, two. Get that into there. 63. Replace that. Let's have a look at it. Yep, very nice. It didn't lose any of its passengers, which is magical. As I say, these things are absolutely incredibly huge compared to that bit, because this was on a hill. That was weird. <laughs> right, so there's no need to upgrade this track. Nothing goes over sort of 70 miles per hour. So that's all good. This one heading out to Bristol has been changed to a BR. Uh, there is another one though, the, right, so you've been changed, no, you're still running a jumbo, Jesus. Did full new, ah, right, now we're going to have something that goes a bit faster, so manage vehicles, let's replace this with steam, let's just go straight for that, 85, wow, replace that, passengers, are we going to go maroon again, or will we go with something else? There's nothing for the west, though, is there? 
Blood and custard, chocolate and cream. Chocolate and cream it is. One, two, three. Brake wagon, chocolate and cream, and that replace. Now, as we've just said, this train does, in fact, do a decent rate of knots. So we're gonna have to upgrade it. Right, this thing is pretty huge. Uh, let's upgrade those. Right, we've got some in reverse and some in forward. So manage vehicles. Pick the forward facing ones first. Uh, get rid of those. Steam. Now, I think these are the large ones. Yes, they are. Large prairies. Modify them. Yep, they just look the same. Now select the ones that are reversed. It's just two that's reversed. So remove that, remove that, give me that. And BR blue. And BR blue and BR green. Modify. Right, now they're ready to rock and roll. And where is that Tidful train? Probably in a tunnel. No, it's not. Actually at Tidfall. Waiting. Hmm. Maya Smith. No. Don't need to talk to Maya. Want to go and look at this thing. There it is. Now this line will have to be upgraded. Because this train is now faster. So let's do that. Let's do that. 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 And that. There's one of our black uh, Great Westerns that's been changed up. Right, so we've got one that hangs a left and then one that hangs a right. Now that was still running a London North Western Railways jumbo. Where do you actually go? I think you go onto this line, right? Yes, onto the middle. I'm near certain. I am certain. Don't know if that has been upgraded. It has. I need to watch because some of these trains will become literally screwed up. Now it doesn't need to cross over. We will upgrade that. Yes. Perfect. I knew it. I knew one of these trains was going to get screwed up. That's just one of the things that happens. If you upgrade a section of track and there happens to be a train on it, you may run the risk of screwing something up. So, train 161 is having a problem. It should not be having a problem. Uh, reverse, no path, you do have a path, you're currently on the wrong path, so let's reverse you again, go into the station now please, go into the station now please, oh my god, yep see that's annoying, <laughs> it's so dumb, I, I don't understand why this epic retardedness is a thing, Okay, see if there's a depot. Send to depot. Yeah, there is. It lost everything, but that's okay. Now, it needs to go on to... Uh, whatever this line is. Gloucester. I don't know where. Alright, so heading for depot. No, you're going to go on RLT. Gloucester Mail, Gloucester Iron Ore. There you go, turn back around, get moving. There are still three of these on here, right? No, there's two. Gloucester Iron Ore, Gloucester Iron Ore. So what's this? Ah, oh, that's the one that goes further on, okay. Yep, so that was... 
one of the things. All we did was upgrade a part of track that wasn't even connected to this, but was connected to the station, and it, it totally, completely ballsed everything up. <laughs> Right, steel train heading out. Are you too large for the station now? Possibly. It's okay though. Right, so everything is sort of happy days now. At this section. Now, we were heading... Hello, buddy. We were heading over this way. And we upgraded some stuff. There are stuff down at the far left though. That will get upgraded as well. Now, this train here. Swansea meet. Now it's running London Northwestern Railways. A uh, Class F. Class F is cool, but it's not what we want. Now it doesn't pick up anything here. Uh, so let's just find out what size is. Details. Right, it's a Class F. Its top speed is 100. Capacity is 140 and 50 miles per hour. Manage vehicle. Keep that up, so I can actually see 172 meters, which is probably fine for the length of this. But we'll add one of these on here. Add passenger, cargo, cargo. Hopefully. Right, you don't take meat, either do you, but you take livestock. You don't take meat, why? Why does nothing take meat? However, I think... Now this is going to seem a bit weird. Yeah, these take meat. That they do, and they'll take eight of... Okay, so it looks like we're adding milk wagons. That's fine. That's totally fine by me. And ones that do 80 miles per hour as well. And we're going for a length of 172 meters. Where did I get 151 from? Well, okay. That's fine. that and that and that and that there's a hundred meters there is something meters uh, 121 okay keep going keep going 143 150 160 capacity is now 160 which is 20 more, we'll go to all, we shall add, wait, what was that? We shall add a BR grey brake wagon and then modify it and then we'll upgrade this section of track. Overview, where are you? Right, when it's not taking milk, you get that there's, there's a weird glitch thing goes on. Where either the tanks are there, or they are not there. I don't know why. I have no idea. Uh, it's a weird thing. It, it does look really cool when it actually works. Sometimes it does not, though. Now, I don't want to upgrade that while it's currently residing beside the station. For reasons, because I think that it's going to screw up. And I will possibly be right. Now I just need to upgrade this section of track so that it can actually do the 80 something odd miles per hour. Right, there's nothing in there, which means I can upgrade that. Do that as well. Let's do that as well. This is a horrid area, this part here. I, I literally hate the way this area has sort of turned out. I mean it's great that the AI has decided to build out and whatnot, but it's a bit insane. 
Yeah, so it could be, I don't know exactly which platform it's going into, so we'll just do everything. Hello? Hello? There we go. And just keep spamming. Spamming the upgrade button. There we go. One line is now complete. Now, is there meat down here? Right, it's picked up 102. It's still loading. That's fine. Uh, there's more meat to go up to Banger. There should also be a passenger station here. Yes, there is. So that's the inner city. Oh no, that's the MILF Bang one. Which we will keep the same. There's the Wales inner city. So I just want to upgrade this manage vehicle. And I just want to remove that. Go to Steam. And add one of these. Add. Modify. There we go. Are you full? No. We could set it to wait. At, like, set it to wait at Banger for a full load. This one we're not really that fussed about because it's an inner city train. It's got many places to go to. Right, you are that. Now, this one. Yeah, these are kind of cool. And I went sticking 140 meat as well. Do we want to upgrade it to the milk? Or do we want to leave a couple of great westerns rolling in their livery? I don't really want to change this up. I actually... I am actually going to leave it. There we go. It is left. Right, so we've done a lot of stuff over here. Uh sort of like everything to like Gloucester up to Milford Haven uh, did full all this is done all this stuff down here is done we'll head back to London London town so there's Reading, Luton uh, now we've done everything out of this station this station uh, in fact that's not true we have not done everything out of this station there is a train here that delivers stone. Actually, there's a train over here that delivers stone. We actually do need to head out this way. So I might just wait to upgrade this. It can obviously be longer. But there's like other stuff that heads out that way. Yep, so possibly this thing. Yeah, Ipswich Comats. It's taking calm mats and coffee and it's currently running LNER I mean we could change that up yeah it's still unloading coffee which is totally fine so coffee is going Jesus SOS sand oh my god right SOS sand manage vehicles there's 40 of them on there. Where are you actually going? Going along there. It's literal gridlock hell here. I don't think I can upgrade this section of road. I could possibly be wrong. I can't upgrade that section of road. Let's do it. Let's do this section under here. That section there, that section there. Do that to there, yes, do that to there. Right, this area is a literal nightmare. As we can see, keep that down at two where it goes into the airport. And uh, we can't do anything about that. We should be able to do that, that, that. That's colliding with the station. Right, that should alleviate some of the <laughs> absolute nonsense we've got going on there. Maybe, perhaps. This is hellish. This is awful. But if the trucks can get onto this left-hand side... Yeah, it still doesn't matter. Because everyone's now queuing on that left-hand side. Sweet. 
And uh, we've got two trains sitting here that can't move. Now I suspect something may be broken down here. Yeah, what is broken? You're sitting waiting there. You're actually sitting waiting for a full load to get into there. Channel Coast, Manage Line, at Margate. Okay, at Margate, don't wait. And at Brighton, probably don't wait as well. Let's just get going. <laughs> right. Where do these freight cars sort of branch off? No idea. It's literally holding up the entire, the whole shebang. I mean, we possibly could have set it to wait and then just for a minute, but I think that's one of the trains that will just wait forever more. Maidstone fuel is actually empty. That's a, that's a first. Uh, right, here, the sand one is this one here. Yep. Yeah. That's a West Sand. So we know that is working. A lot of ship, maybe, coming across here to there. Pretty pointless, but that might do something to sort of alleviate the pain we've got going on there. But now we're on to this. Hello. Now, are we going to keep our flying Scotsmen? The answer is yes, absolutely. Now, this one is a Royal Scot. Yes. Now there are two, we have the Stainer Tender and the the Royal Scott, Scott, Scott. So, what do we want to do here? We've got a Turbo Motive in there. Let's maybe do something else. London Brighton is done. And Central Mainline, right, this is a real mix mash. Mix mash, mismatch of stuff. We're going to change that. Uh, one of the things we are going to do is, well, we'll do these first, since we're here. Right. Manage vehicles. Select all. We're going to replace these with still Royal Scots. Maybe, if I can find them. Because we now have several in different liveries. Now we go. We've now got three liveries. So, we've got the Royal Scot here. It's now not in red, it's now in green, which I suppose is totally fine. So, let's do one at a time. Do this one. So, the Fowler Tender, add that. And go to Passengers. Now, I am actually going to use, what do you take, 20? One, two, three. We'll get them running. 60. Current capacity is 100. I don't need 100. 60 is fine. So replace that. Right. No idea where that train is. Let's get this one. Let's replace this one. Now this was the, the Royal Scott Fowler Tender. Let's head down. There it is. Let's get the rebuilt. The rebuilt one does 90, which is pretty astonishing. But we'll add that. We'll go passengers again. This does 80. Mm. Okay, maybe go for this then. 100 on this one. Crimson Lake. No. Blood and Custard. 1, 2. Go for a brake wagon. And three, add capacity of 63. It should probably be a longer train, but it, it doesn't really make much money. So I'm happy just to leave it as is. Right, those two are on. Now what we're going to do is at this side, we're going to launch another one. Now, let's try and get a depot in here, buildings, do that, spin this round, yes, it's not spinning round, that's disconcerting, oh my god, why 
What are you trying to do? Okay, that's that's one uh, one of the more insane things that I've seen in good old transport fever. Ah, wait a second, it's because I yeah right, bring it up. No, it still wants to No collision, please. Oh, Jesus. Right, it really, really absolutely despises that. Don't know why. Let's try and get it sort of flush. This may even be a depot that we keep. Probably not, though. Uh, tracks, yes. Give me that. Uh, no, take that off. Go out to there. Go out to where that signal is. And then... Uh, cross over to that side. Right, that was uh, pretty insane. Right, buy vehicle. Steam. Let's head down. Now, if it's still there... I think it's gone. Which is going to upset me greatly. I was going to add a high pressure fury to this line as well. But let's get a stainer tender. And uh, let's go passengers. Uh, stainer tender does what? How fast? Royal Scott. Stainer tender does 80. Passengers, okay, let's go with these then. One, two, three. Buy. Set it on a line. Intercity, LNER. It's LMS, right? LMS Royal Scott. Off it goes. Now, I think the high pressure fury is gone. Uh, steam. I would like to have kept one running if possible, but if it's not there, then we'll perhaps just leave it. Uh, the Big Bertha and several variants. It comes in BR Black. This one was used for pushing trains up hills, which is interesting. Fowler class, yes, we know about that. A1 and O2. So does this one now have BR livery? Don't actually know. Uh, five variants. Four variants. Something variants. Variants. And variant. 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 <laughs> right, so there's no... Whatever you call it. There's no high pressure fury. Now, however, what I can do is, because on the main line, there is a high pressure fury. No, not that. Uh, central main line. Yeah, there's a high pressure fury right there. It's called Lake Newcastle. Okay. The uh, Caledonian Railway. High pressure fury. Where are you? Heading for Leicester. Now it's still in the old school LMS. But I actually quite like it. Right, I think however... High Pressure Fury, where are you? York South. You're still a fair bit off as well, it looks like. Okay. If I send you... Wait, because there was one running it in Newcastle. It's a Flying Scotsman. I'm actually going to keep the Flying Scotsman running these. 
They're, they look pretty beat up, but hey ho. Right, so there's a grizzly rolling in. There is a something. In fact, what we'll do is. Yeah, that's the spinner. It does 75. Right, manage this line. Spinner, Caledonian Railway, London Northwestern Railways, Precursor Class. Manage vehicles. Select the Furies. Now we're just going to do this, and we're going to remove, or will we just keep their LMS class? No, because we're going to give them... something else. That. Blood and Custard. One, two, three. Blood and Custard. Four. Uh, one, two, three. Blood and Custard. Four. One, two, three. Blood and Custard. Four. Modify. Right. And the spinners. So manage vehicle. Select this one and that one. Okay. Now what do we want for this? Replace, yes, steam. Let's have a look. Now the London Northwestern Railways. Call for class is still a thing, but the rest of them look to have gone. Most of the older stuff, so that's fine. Now something that does 80. Turbo motive does 100. Uh, we've got those rolling. Two variants. Ah, these are cool. BR blue and BR green. And these are blue and silver and wartime black. I think we've got these ones running somewhere. 75, 60, peppercorn is 100, you do 60. A black 5, 85, 70, black 5 it is. Add one of those passengers. Uh, since we had the other ones yeah, let's go with chocolate. And chocolate. And, and replace. Might have lost some people there, perhaps, maybe. So yes, we are still running dodgy LMS numbers. There we go, there's one, dodgy. Well, look at it, look at it go. The high pressure fury. Now, I would have loved to have just have shunted one onto the Royal Scot line. But we've got our three Royal Scots. We'll go and have a, an actual look at them, see if we can see them. I'm going to have to replace you now. I'm also going to have to replace you. Which sucks, yep, we've got a weird glitch happening there. These are pretty old. These, they could be faster. Uh, these could be faster. Uh, definitely change up that at some point. Now this was the the Aspinall one. Yeah, it's gonna go. It did not last long. We'll go ahead running though. That's the main thing. You're gonna get changed up because you are old as hell as well. Right, where am I? I don't know. Yeah, I think, are you running a Fowler? Yeah, I can just change that folder to BR. I want to look at the Royal Scots. Royal Scot and BR livery. Now, like I said, we're going to keep these as is. The, that, the B17, the A3, all the different 
sort of ones that we've got rolling there. We're going to keep them. They're fine. Uh, Royal Scott. This one is somewhere. Is this the... I think this one is the rebuild. I mean, even though we're in autosave, we can still look at it. Yeah, there we go. Look at it. Looks nice. Really does look nice. This one. Now, one of these is perhaps near guaranteed to be in a tunnel. There we go. There's not much people on it. Lo and behold, last but not least, and this one heading for Oxford. Stainer tender. Yeah, where's the where's the rebuild? Let's have a closer look at that one. This one does ninety. Uh, thing there, you're gonna have to go. This thing's gonna have to go. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna leave it there for that episode. Uh, we've got some more things done. We've got everything over in Wales. Pretty much almost done. We'll do something in London. Some things in London. We'll head out east, etc. Get everything sort of upgraded. Uh, changed into the BR livery. I may do one or two trains here and there. And swap them out uh, to something else. But then in the next episode I will obviously show you guys exactly what has been changed out. But we're going to leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch us later.